All right, we're talking about the truck series at Martinsville now because uh, this is kind of a midweek showing of the NASCAR boys on a Thursday night. Um, I assume that some of you guys are only going to be able to watch this today, which is Wednesday, and then probably make the live show uh, tomorrow before the truck race. If you're if you're viewing this on Thursday, I'm going to have a live show uh, Thursday before the race. Uh, live before lock, if you will. So feel free to tune in and ask some questions there. This is more so me if you're listening on a Wednesday and you won't have time to listen in on a Thursday, whatever the case may be. That's more what this video is for. When we dive into the truck series races at Martinsville, uh, it's very much as if um, the best description of these events is this, as if uh, an American goes over uh, sees, joins Hamas, and then detonates a vest at a crowd of people. These races are pretty ugly, and I fully, like, last year was a joke of an event. Like, what a machine event, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely destroyed stuff, and it's the trucks, man. Uh, they pretty much always destroy things, so keep that in mind. Um, pretty small contest, nothing to really uh, freak out about. Even the 33 is only 176 people, and so... Uh, the amount of need to get different isn't that high. We'll probably end up having another, probably another ten dollar contest that pays like two grand to first pop off. But these contests are going to be uh, pretty poor uh, on this Thursday evening. Continuing on, uh, we got Kyle Busch in the mix, and this is just the 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 way that I'm going to go about looking at this race. Is I'm playing Kyle Busch. Okay, Kyle is either going to qualify up front first or second, and he's either going to lead the entire race or John Henry is going to win, or John Henry is going to lead, or Zane Smith is going to lead, or Ben Rhodes is going to lead. Somebody else is going to take the lead, and it's not going to be Kyle Busch, and I just lose. So I'm playing Kyle Busch right here and right there. With the amount of skill, with the amount of performance that Kyle Busch is going to have in the track, I mean, it's, come on, it's Kyle Busch. I don't want to waste too much time just talking about that type of stuff. When we start moving down... Um, Obviously, when we're looking at building lines, let's just say for an example, this is how I do believe a majority of the lines are going to go. We're still waiting for DraftKings to add the other driver for uh, Young Motorsports in the 20. But let's just say we're going Kyle Busch in this line, all right? The hill train is yet again here. Um, if we're expecting the right, which, which I'm expected, if I'm expecting people to be dumb wreck people, not give each other room, people not showing respect, and a lot of people getting their first ever truck series start at Martinsville in a place where, oh, this is, you know, a big show. This is on Thursday night. I got to make my name. I got to get out there. I fully expect this race to be a fucking joke. That's just where I'm at. And so I'm building, or at least I'm experimenting to see what lineups we end up, uh, what lineup construction looks like. So for this example, we got Timmy Hill, we got Kyle Busch, leads you $7,200. Now, f someone down here in this range is obviously going to make the field. Um, when we start looking at the cars, when we start looking at the drivers, clearly they're in, in, in certainly inferior equipment. Um, we have several guys in the Reunion Brothers. We have a third, which is, it. it's so, I liked it when I could just say Derek Krause. I didn't have to pronounce Bill McAnally. For whatever reason, I could pronounce that easier than Buford. But, um, you know, we got Jesse Little and a young machine making a one-off start here, or at least a, uh, a sporadic start because, you know, he hasn't been racing nearly as much. I like Jesse Hill. Uh, Jesse Hill. I like Jesse Little. Uh, for 5200 for 5200 spencer boyd is not gonna race he is just gonna ride he is a pure thinking long term a pure um attrition play personally i would much rather lean jesse little i'm not playing matt jaskell in these g2g cars because they are absolute garbage um obviously the McAnally entry of jake garcia is probably the best funded equipment honestly under Haley Deegan, uh, in terms of uh, in terms of salary, uh, Garcia. I'm I'm expecting Garcia to most likely be chalk uh, in this race, um, and I'm most likely not playing Blake or Chase. There's a chance that both these drivers don't even make the race. Uh, but if I see different things in practice, which yet again we'll touch on in the live show on Thursday. But right now, when we're down here, 
it's Garcia, it's Jesse Little for me. That's where I want to go. So let's just throw one of those boys in a line and understand how this race is going to play out. So let's just say, let's use Little because we'll even go on the extreme side. That leaves you $7,900 for your other remaining drivers. Going to be pretty easy to, 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 to go wherever you want at this point. If you want to go up and play place differential plays that might end up popping up, say Majeski, say Ekis, uh, Hosevar, which I actually really like Hosevar here. I'm hoping he doesn't qualify too far up front. I actually really am interested in Hosevar at $8,000. Um, but I think a majority of the lines are going to be left to build in the in the high 6K range. And so you're going to have, I like, I, I don't mind Austin Wayne self if you want to get there. Uh, Taylor Gray, um, he's already used his 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 dead crew member Juju at Phoenix. What a waste of an ARCA event! If 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 he hadn't have won Phoenix, if he did, if they didn't run Phoenix, I would be all over DGR here. But uh, yet again, you know, using the and I talk about it a lot, man. I'm telling you, I still gotta look into it. I haven't had time to to waste a, an afternoon of my life looking up dates of death for people and then looking at how a team performs. Uh, following horrific events, but uh, I, I certainly like lean on that. Uh, just not here. Taylor Gray to use that. Uh, if you do want to continue with that, uh, Haley Deegan is currently going through probably the most anxiety and uh, stress that she has ever dealt with, uh, dealing with the stalker situation, dealing with uh, receiving... Uh, or at least her boyfriend receiving death threats, having to call the police, having the police be on the property when she sleeps. So Haley Deegan's dealing with a whole lot of shit there. Um, not necessarily death, so I'm not going to lean towards that. I think that's going to be a huge uh, distraction. And uh, yet again, this whole season has just been killer for, for Deegan. None, really nothing. You can't help that. Good Lord. Um, but Deegan's not going to be there for me. I don't trust Perkins. Jack Wood... Should be the guy here, but it's Jack Wood. Um, I think that's going to lean people to go to Chris Wright, and I think Chris Wright's going to be chalk. So the way that I see it right now is the main shock at the bottom that I would imagine if people are doing their research, maybe they don't. I think it's Garcia. I think it's Chris Wright, and I think it is uh, Austin Wayne Self in terms of the chalk plays in the in the six and and five k ranges there. So now that we got kind of the, the the early lineup construction out of the way, let's actually break down the drivers and how I actually do want to at least approach these guys here. Uh, let me move some stuff around really quick, and uh, we'll get to it. All right, so let's start ranking these bad boys. Kind of a shorter video, um, mainly because I, I don't think the audience is going to be here. I think we'll be I'll be lucky if this video hits uh, probably 300 views by. Uh, tomorrow midday i got about one evening to get views on this video um but anyway going through i uh love kyle bush Nemechek is certainly there if you're not playing which just with me i'm saying fuck it just play i'm playing kyle bush i'm not Bill. as as some of you guys may or may not know i'm going out of town on the 11th uh basically gonna be out of town for the rest of april i gotta pay a lot of gas money <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're just doing one lineup certainly this week, just like I did last week. I'm doing one lineup here. I just don't want to, uh, completely piss away money that I don't necessarily want to just throw away right now on DraftKings. So anyway, I'm playing Kyle Busch. If you're not playing Kyle Busch, you would most likely hedge to Nemechek. I would actually prefer to hedge to, to Zane Smith if you're not going to play, uh, Kyle Busch. But for me, uh, we'll lower these. I'm not playing these guys. Um... Ben Rhodes, like I said, not going to be playing him. I want to focus on the lap leader, which I just believe it's going to be Kyle Busch. That's that's the hill I'm going to die on. Uh, I see uh, Smith just struggling here. I don't really want to have any interest in him. Same thing with Byron. Byron might actually gain ownership. And for me, if I'm not playing Kyle, I would just want to be overweight on Zane Smith and Nemechek because I think the pivot off of Kyle is going to be William Byron, I don't think that's the way to go. Uh, I don't see Byron killing this field. You can argue that, well, you know, Alex Bowman did pretty well in the truck. Sure, you can take that argument as well. But uh, look, if Kyle isn't leading, if Nemechek isn't leading, if Smith isn't leading, and Byron is the one leading, there's already things going horribly wrong in this race. Obviously, this is before practice. Maybe Byron just shows up and absolutely uh, whoops everybody. Uh, in practice, but this is probably where I'm not going to be at. I'm not going to be looking at any of these guys. I like uh, Friesen. I like Ekus. Uh, I like Majeski. This will be dictated by whoever is fastest in practice for me. 
uh, if I believe, if I can see them hitting value. So there's a chance that, you know, Friesen might have a fast car and then he starts sixth. And I just don't see him doing much there. I don't see, I wouldn't see Friesen um, really hitting value if he starts probably sixth or seventh. Same thing with Eka, same thing with Ty Majeski. Now with this said, oh, Stuart Friesen starting 27th. I got to play him. Well, and if I go back and look at the practice data and Friesen just running like absolute garbage, hot garbage in practice, and he qualifies poorly, and it might end up being just a pure PD play because we're not seeing pure speed. I would prefer to find the guy out of these three that shows me speed and the amount of upside least hitting value. That's where I'm at right here. Uh, we can throw Klergerman in there, but he is most likely a, a secondary uh, interest to me. As I said, when I was kind of breaking down the construction that I want to go with, and I, I can even take out Timmy Hill and double punt and get two of these guys to where I get two of Friesen, Eckes, Majeski, Klergerman, Hosevar, Ankrum. Uh, these are the guys that I want to focus on. I, I would much rather play Hosevar starting seventh i think he can stay up there all night and actually be there at the end and i don't think i don't think host is going to be stupid uh the hat boy might actually do something uh this week ankrum scares me uh like i said it's going to be dictated by uh practice speed for for ankrum here tanner gray bound to do something stupid bound to get involved into something personally i'm just not gonna be on tanner gray i'm usually pretty good at projecting weeks where Tanner Gray is going to do something stupid. I think Las Vegas was the last one, and uh, I had no Tanner Gray. Uh, am I remembering this correctly? I could have swore Tanner Gray was like hot, was like huge chalk at, uh... oh yeah, he he did finish six because they got stupid at the end. Well, uh, as I said that, you know, Tanner Gray did finish six at uh, Vegas, and that's when I was uh, underweight on him last time. Uh, let me move this and let's see we got uh solder in his thor sport ride this year because remember he is running uh, part-time this year for thor sport i want to see the practice data uh that's about where we're at there if people don't want to play johnny solder um this is a race where i don't believe skill is going to really matter unless you're racing for the lead kyle bush uh, I think it's going to be people just ramming into people. Like it's going to be ugly. It's a it's a night race. At where's the? Uh, I'm pretty sure the new moon was. Let me see. Next full moon. How many days away are we from the next full moon? It is. Let me see. Oh, that. that well, okay. That's that's both good and bad. The next full moon is not until April 16th. So we've escaped that for the truck series at Martinsville. We're having a full moon at Bristol Dirt. Uh, keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm going way down. I'm, um, we're, we're grasping for straws at this point. I think this race is going to be scary. And so if, nobody's gonna, if nobody wants to play Johnny Sauter, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, that's where I'm at there. Uh, same thing with Krause. Not not too high in Krause and not Howard is gonna Howard's interesting for me as well. Um it just depends on I mean Howard's gonna do something stupid. He's gonna wreck. There's no way Howard doesn't do anything stupid. There's no there's no way Kobe Howard and Tanner Gray are the exact same person. They're the exact same play. They're either gonna work or they won't work. Uh and typically I wanna be I wanna try and be uh, underweight on on either of those guys. There, um, obviously, we got Brett Holmes back. You know, Brett, I I am well aware you were my abuser, and uh, I just cannot I cannot play you, my guy. I'm sorry. Uh, Chase Purdy's interesting, mm. and you can really you can really see where where my my attention is. If I I want to just try and get two of these guys, which I think you can do by double punting pretty easily. I I really really want to stay out of this range here. Uh, that's just where I'm at. Uh, not, as I said, I'm not playing Taylor Gray. Austin Wayne Self is interesting if I'm here. I'm not going to play Deegan with her issues going on. Clearly, I'm just a Timmy Hill simp, uh, so I'll just keep promoting him <laughs> every chance I get. Which the guy? Where's Timmy Hill in the in the uh, in the point standings? NASCAR Truck Series. Let's let's check it out, boys. NASCAR Truck Series standings. I'm guessing he is 18th. Let's see. Timmy Hill's 16th. He's 16th. Ladies and gentlemen, this 
We are not seeing true speed out of Timmy Hill. He is very smart, very methodical, paying attention. He's a, he's, he understands. Boy, this race is going to be ugly. Boy, we are going to bring one. I would not be shocked if, if he brings the uh, the old. Let me see real quick. Hold on. I got to keep looking at stuff. I'm very curious because we saw that when Tyler Hill ran last week, they ran the older body on the Tyler Hill uh, entry, which you can do at road courses and short tracks. I would not be shocked if Timmy Hill runs the older Toyota body here. Uh, but let's see. Uh, we got a picture of the back. Uh, we'll have to see. Hold on. See, this is what I'm here for. This is all I... <laughs> I was like, man, I wonder what car Timmy Hills is, is taking. So let, let's let, let's look and see which one they're loading here. At least my my thought process, but we can clearly see that this is the, the new Toyota um, package, and, it, and it's this vehicle right over here. But Timmy Hill, this might be his truck car, or this might be the Bristol Dirt car. Who knows? Uh, very interesting that Timmy Hill does have... Which they can very easily just put the five on there, because this is uh, Tyler's car from from Coda. Um, I'm 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 real deep in the weeds. I'm I'd love Timmy Hill. It's it's uncomfortably so. Um, I would love to have him like with Stewart. Like I don't want a picture with Stewart. I don't want a uh, an an autograph from Tony Stewart. I just want to walk up to him and say you murdered kevin ward jr and just see the reaction because you know that's going to stick with him for a few days then if he you know maybe i tweet that at him and he and he blocks me and make me very happy to at least understand that timmy that stewart recognized my existence for a millisecond of his life same thing with timmy hill i can't think of anything mean to say to timmy hill but uh, that's more so where uh, i would like to be acknowledged versus being a fanatic just being an asshole to him. uh moving forward uh perkins you know, the little short track guy. I can't believe it, man. Can't believe it in the robot truck. We're going to go from the bottom up. Uh, as I said, these guys are going to be dictated by where they start, or not where they start, the practice times that we're seeing from them. Yeah, we're recording. Um, right now, Jake seemed like the best one, not playing Jaskill. Uh, probably not going to play Spencer Boyd. I'd much rather go to uh, Jesse Little. I actually want to see when DraftKings, if DraftKings adds, what's his name? Uh, he is a, he runs a lot of modified. I just ran out of his name. Dylan Struer, Struger, Struer, Struber, Struer. He's in the 20 car for, uh, um, Young Motorsports. I would really be interested in Dylan if they add Dylan to DraftKings. I don't think they will, but I would really like to play Dylan uh, if he is uh, added because I've actually watched a couple races that he was in, so I'm actually familiar with him, and I would actually trust him. Um, not playing Lawless, not going to get to Fogelman, not playing Thompson, certainly don't want to play a Chalky Chris Wright. Uh, Jack Wood and Perkins. This is where we're at right now. This is where I want to lean uh, towards these guys. I like the idea of playing two of these guys with Kyle Busch. That just that just where we're at. Um, pretty pretty fast, pretty quick video. Just uh, like I said, I don't think we're gonna have a lot of life on this video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, live show tomorrow uh, before the truck race. Feel free to tune in. Feel free to drop any questions if you want to have some fun. I understand we can't really drink. Also, uh, the watch together has been canceled. Uh, Pierce has to do some work, um, so sorry about that. But hey, you can still hang out in the uh, the DF NASCAR DFS live picks before lock. I think that's the title that I've actually given the the show. Whatever the case is, tune in, hang out, ask some questions there. Wanted to put this out for you guys, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.